The Good Nurse, a gripping true life crime story with a twist, comes to Netflix this week. Chuck Kaplinski and Pam Pal recently sat down with its stars, Jessica Chastain and Eddie Redmayne, to discuss how they brought their roles to life. Uh, thank you both so much for joining us on WCIA TV to talk about The Good Nurse. Wow, blown away by performances and the story. Chuck, I'm gonna let you start the questions. Yeah, this is just such a gripping film. I, I know you both met the subject, Amy Lagren. In speaking to her, was there anything she shared with either of you that helped you with your performances? She really helps me. Um, of course, I had read The Good Nurse by Charles Graber, and we went to nursing school, Eddie and I, and <laughs> you know, I did all the research that was like the dry technical stuff. And then talking to her, she helped me in terms of like, what did it feel like when, you know, her BPMs, her heartbeats were going too fast, and what would she do to try to bring it down, and what did it feel like, all of that stuff. But I also asked her, why did you work at it night as a night nurse? And she said, I didn't want my, I wanted my girls to think that they had a stay at home mom. Oh. And that was like, oh, oh, so beautiful because she was a single mom. She spends her, she's awake all night taking care of others. She's home. Um, she sleeps for a little bit while her kids are at school and then she's doing laundry and going grocery shopping and do whatever. There's never any time that she's taking care of herself. And that really kind of was the way into the character from the way I looked physically to my energy. It was all about the sense of like uh, not really having much energy left to rely on. And Eddie, um, this is, I think, maybe a little out of the box or a little different type of character than you've portrayed before. Yeah. Um, you bring such humility and humanity to someone who has done some pretty heinous things. Hmm. How do you create that character? How do you intrinsically connect to someone like that and give us such an incredible performance? Oh, thank you. Well, the, the the interesting thing is similarly to what to Jess, it was Amy Lochran, the real Amy, who was gave me the greatest insight, um, which was that he was two different human beings. There was this close friend of hers who saved her life, who was kind, was gentle, was a quite brilliant um, and fastidious nurse. And then she met a serial killer twice. And this was a different human being who was arrogant and narcissistic. And um, and what was hearing that from her, because we had read about, you know, his, he'd had an incredibly traumatic upbringing and various things which I'd sort of tried to read about and embed somewhere. But that was the insight. And this film is is Amy's story. It's it's this uh, and and it's from her point of view, as it were. So it was just really allowed Jess and I to invest in that friendship and the truth of that without ever playing serial killer. You know, if Tobias wanted to observe things and find things, then he could. But it was about me making sure that that was real because that's what Amy told me. Very good, thank you. You know, it, it is chilling to know that there is really no reason behind this. He never provides a reason behind this. But you said in an interview that he was staggeringly damaged. Do you have any indication as to what happened to him, to either of you? So he, um, his father died in his first year. Um, he was the youngest son in a big family. One of his elder siblings' partners abused him when he was seven years old. And he tried to kill that person with a chemistry set and then tried to kill himself when that failed with a lighter fluid. Um, age 15, he was very close with his mother and his mother died in a car crash. And he was the first one to the hospital and they had lost her body. And he, when they found the body, it was unkempt and um, he then went and joined the Navy. He managed to pass all the psychiatric tests to get in and work on submarines. And he was only fired from the Navy where he was found, stood, some people say dressed as a nurse, which he had no nursing background at that point, with his fingers over the Poseidon missiles on the submarine. And he was then expelled. He then went back to the hospital that his mum had died at to train to be a nurse. And so, so there was, for me, the fact that it was that same hospital, that his, his fury at the way his mother had been treated, mixed with all of this trauma. None of that, by the way, forgives what he did, which was ugly. But, but the fact that the system allowed someone who was so broken and damaged anywhere near vulnerable people is one of the big question marks, you know, around the film. 
I wish that we had more time to mm -hmm. talk. Um, incredible performances, great story. Thank you both so much for bringing this to us. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so thank much, you. you guys. Nice to see you. Good to see you too.